RealAgriculture.com's coverage of the Western Canadian Dairy Seminar is brought to you by Alberta Milk. We're looking at the uh, Lely Juno 100. Uh, so the Lely Juno 100 is, uh, is an automated feed pusher. Uh, what it does, it's, it's programmed to go along the feed fence and it'll push in the feed close to the cows and it can do it um, on, on an hourly basis or if you want to do it every two hours, um, it can be programmed per, per hour. So there's exact times it can go around the barn, push the feed a little closer. Um, in most cases, we, we just see that for sure in the robotic barn, it, uh, it gets more traffic to the feed fence and also through the robot. Um, when the uh, feed pusher is pushing on a regular basis. We also see that in, uh, in parlor barns, for example, there's a higher dry matter intake, which usually results in, in a higher milk production. Um, doesn't happen all the time, but it, there is, there's definitely been instances of that. Um, and then there's the, uh, the economical reasons behind it as well. Uh, you don't have to start up a, a skid steer loader anymore. Uh, nobody has to be out there to push feed. Um, so there's there's a few of those uh, um, benefits there as well. So is it just about keeping, keeping feed in front of the animal? It's mostly to keep feed in front of the animal and uh, yeah, to just uh, keep it keep it always fresh and al also to prevent them from uh, sorting the feed. Um, so it's always kind of the same batch that's in front of them. They can't sort for sure if you're doing it on an hourly basis. So how does it work? How do you how do you set it up to keep it on track? Uh, we actually come out. Um, at the first install and uh, basically what we do is we put a couple of strips, um, steel metal strips in the ground and those are bump points is what they call it. So every time it hits a bump point it'll change uh, direction or change in action. Um, so when we get there we install it, we set it up, there's a little e-link is what they call it or a little handheld computer um, and the technician with the customer will go around the barn and program the machine. Um, so what it'll do is it'll leave the charger and then it'll just, there's an ultrasound right here and it'll follow the feed fence all the way until the end, till it hits a bump point. From there it'll turn and it'll go across the feed alley and then back down the other side. Um, so it's all pre-programmed on, on how many turns to take and what kind of degrees and stuff like that. So, so is it battery operated or how does it work? It is battery operated. Uh, there's a big battery inside of here. Um, and it, it hooks up to a charge station. So there's a couple of charge strips on the other side um, that basically sit right in here. Um, and they, um, they go right along uh, the charge station. There's two prongs that stick out and it'll line itself up with it. So it just recharges? Um, every time it goes around and it comes back to the charge station, that's when it's yeah, recharging. Usually one round, depending on how long your barn is, um, It'll calculate how much time it spends pushing, and then it'll need about 60% of the day to be charging. Is this what they uh, what they calculate? So, so would you recommend one or two per barn, or depending on the size? Most farms we can get away with one, um, depending on again how much distance it's traveling, and if it can have that 60% charge time, uh, we can install one one feed pusher on one farm. Um, there has been some instances where. Yeah, the feed alleys are quite long where it's a lot of distance to travel and we, we put in multiple units. Yeah. So what's the setup cost? Uh, the cost installed um, from Penner right now is, is about $17,900. Um, and we come out, we do the programming with the customer. Um, and then, yeah, it should work from there. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's basically what's, what's included. It's about $17,900. <laughs>